How's it going? I'm Adrian Dare from Southwest Defense, uh, right here in North Scottsdale, and we are the producer of AR Firearms, custom AR Firearms. And how we start our builds, we use at the base a Wilson Combat receiver set. From there, match grade ballistic advantage barrel. We make our own barrel extensions here, which is 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum. Hand guards are our own as well, in the same material for super lightweight. Oh my Buffer, same material. We do our own Cerakoting. This one here is actually a white urban camo with a Marine Corps red splash on that. The trigger on these, we put a two and a half pound, either CMC or we put a rise armor trigger in these. Uh, very sensitive, very fast reset. Great on your double taps. And then Actually increasing your patterns by 25% because there's no hesitation on the trigger, which is great. Um, also included, we put an oversized pivot pin, takedown pin with a grenade pull pin. Now this comes in really handy because when you're out in the field and you don't really have any tools on hand, you're able to pull this pin and open the receiver if you need to to get to it and do any type of service or work to that. The bolt carrier we use is a Carpenter 158 and it's rated for full auto. We added pop-ups. These pop-up sights right here aren't just pop-ups, they're fiber optic, similar to a watch. So the outside illuminating light will actually enhance it like a watch. And the reason for that is, is if your red dot turns out and any reason to shot off, battery goes out, whatever it may be, these will come in and actually save your life. Because all you do is pop these up. Turn it sideways and you're back in the fight. So this is a nice uh, resource to have on something like this. We use anti-walk pins in all our builds on the trigger. You'll notice that a lot of manufacturers will not do that. That secures the drop-in trigger for any type of movement whatsoever. The charge handle we use is going to be is closed on me. <laughs> it's an Odin charge handle and that's made from 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum too. The grip is an ergo grip, very comfortable grip. Smooth, got texture to it, kind of broken in like a pair of leather boots. It just feels really good to shoot. So the combination of this with the trigger, it just feels great. Dust cover, other added parts on here are from Timber Creek, and that, again, is aircraft aluminum. And that makes all of this build very light. This build here is under six pounds. The optic on here is a Crimson Trace CTS-25. It's waterproof, shockproof. The nice thing about this is it has a lifetime warranty, which is really cool. It has a four MOA red dot on this, which means the dot is brighter than a one, two, or three, so it's easy on the eyes, easy to pick up on. The barrel shroud, we make these ourselves too. It's actually a barrel extension, it's four and a half inches, made from aircraft aluminum. This detaches, and we Cerakoted this also, Marine Corps red, kind of add to the aesthetics of this. And if you like our bills, and if you want something custom made just for you, we're able to do that. You can reach me at uh, my email, which is adare, A-D-A-R-E, at southwest-defense.com. And I'd so be happy to give you a quote. The cool new LWRCI SMG 45 pistols. So <clears throat> these are new or newer to the submachine gun market. Um, if you look here, they're small. I'm holding it with one hand. Uh, they're, they're actually pretty light. They look pretty cool. Folding stock. Um, so this is something that you definitely want to uh, check out. Uh, you can definitely probably put this in many configurations to, to fit your needs. But check this out. LWRCI SMG 45 coming in right about $3,000. so right here this is another cool one one of my favorites this is the cz scorpion 3 micro uh so you can tell it's pretty small for a uh, compact but definitely definitely something pretty cool easy to handle lightweight and then here we have the scorpion 3 carbine so a little bit larger same format um, same internals, pretty cool little 
rifle carbine you got here. Folding stock, adapting. So you can definitely uh, accessorize this with all your needs. All right, so this is the new SIG XM7. Uh, replaces the XM5, and it is the Army's now next-generation squad weapon. So first, this thing looks cool. The design of it, the lines, I, I think it's sleek. I am all for it. But I will tell you that this thing is heavy. So I pick it up here. One hand, it is a struggle. I'll tell you, if I'm going to carry something through the desert, I want to carry a 249. 249 in this, strapped to my back, I'm not going to notice a difference. But if I had my choice, I'm picking a 249 over this thing. Looks cool, but I want that full. Nice flash. Piston-driven system. I think it's superior. Now, this side charger... I dig the side charger, but this handle, this flip switch right here, this latch, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I, I think they could have done a better design there. The buttons, mag release, bolt catch, safety, I think it's all pretty standard, good functionality. On this side, you have an ambi bolt catch, bolt release. So let me tell you, that is pretty nice the way they designed it. But that button, if I'm holding it like this, I'm accidentally going to hit that bolt release and I'm going to instead of drop the mag. As you can see here, this thing is heavy. So I'd say six out of 10.